Maybe well, he probably thing. doesn't use them as charge as much yeah. because, like, honestly, that character is kind of like situational or like you're high. I think I think his Squirtle is very good, like one of the best Squirtles I've ever seen, and I think his Ivy Store is very good too. I think his Charizard is um, solid, but definitely I would say his Squirtle is his best. I'm getting his update. Yeah, he update that. Lord, make sure you're player one. And then we got Jackson. It's been a minute since we've seen Jax. Uh, but Jax, uh, Lucina made. Just back out of it. Dan, did he mess up the camera too? <laughs> uh, oh God, did it happen again? <laughs> but, Wait, what happened? Uh, yeah, they gotta make sure they're player one and player two. Yeah, but uh, it's been a minute since we've seen Jack. Uh, but Jack's very good with Cena, probably best with Cena in our state, honestly. I don't think that's a question anymore. Uh, player one? Yeah, both of y'all just disconnected. No, 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 you can leave it in. Just, and then, like, you know what, that fu that's fine, that works. <laughs> so we're actually going to be seeing a pretty classic matchup, though. I feel like when you see Pokemon Trainer, you weirdly see this matchup a lot versus Lucina. Yeah, I can say that, actually. Like, like, I feel like, like you I don't see, this see a lot of Lucina, a lot but when Trainer comes on the screen, it's like, oh, he's probably fighting like a sword, like a Fire Emblem character, and one of them is definitely Lucina. And so, then both of these characters kind of play, like, really, like... I don't know, like, there's not a lot of cheese in this character, I mean, obviously... I think they play cheese. similar in, in some ways, where, like, they're both very neutral heavy, um, I think Pokemon Trainer obviously has a, a bit more cheese than Lucina, Yeah, I but, agree, right. um, but you I, know also what you're think, out of I also think they also have similar weaknesses, like, I don't think Trainer's landings are always the best, I think it, I think it can be kind of easy to anti-air Pokemon Trainer, as well as Lucina, but I also think that, like, both these characters are very safe neutrals, they're pretty much around the same, honestly. Ooh. And speaking of, that wow, getting the first kill with Squirtle of all characters taking that, that yeah. was very impressive. He didn't never switched either. You know, yeah. I wonder right now, if like, you know, it's, like I say, it's been a minute since Jax has come out here. Is it Russ right now, or is it the fact that, like, he hasn't played a good Pokemon trainer? We... I was playing him today, and I think, I don't, I don't think it's Russ, because I, I think he's, I think he's playing fine. I think that... It's more just that Lure is playing amazing today. Even like, you know, like he's the not, way he's, he's been not improving is really Squirtle nice. either. Like, and that's pretty interesting because like, could it be really hard for Lucina to hit Squirtle? Like, I never thought about that. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to abuse right now. Oh, but that was a great the conversion. Classic Nair up smash. He might actually be going for the solo Squirtle right now. Well, it seems like Lure knows something about this matchup that he feels like he's good for him to go this character because uh, usually I don't really ever see this but you know so far it's working for him. Listen I could ha, has he switched? Koda ha, has has he switched? <laughs> the Squirtle is putting in work but Jax is starting to put in a little bit more work now. That was a great F tilt to get him off stage. Oh and the SD unfortunately. That was definitely a miss input. Alright Shank seeking the Ivysaur now. Yeah, Jack seemed a little bit comparable anyways, and, uh... Right, actually, maybe trying to go back to the Squirtle or trying to get an early kill with Charizard here. Yeah, yeah I think, you scary. know, I think with him knowing so much about all three of his characters that, like, I don't think it was really beneficial and... Oh, uh, my goodness. That's just so scary. That might be it. No, he's going to get that Flare Blitz in the armor, Ooh. but not going to kill off that. Very good stuff, though. Great timings all around. Yeah, you know, what I love about Jax is... Oh, yeah, that's going to do right it. There. What I've always loved about Jax is, like, Jax is a very fundamental base. Um, he, he gets the right punch, the right punish on every whiff that you do. Uh, anytime you're off stage, he knows the correct way to punish you. Like, he doesn't, yeah. he never overextends. Like, he plays very honest. And Lucina's already a very honest character to begin with. And so, like, he, like, I love the way he plays because, like, he, 
if you're if you're playing bad against them, like it, it's gonna show because most of the time it's not just like, well, this character is just like so oppressive. It's like, nah, it's just like more like the player he understands how to play against you specifically. Yeah, I mean, I can I can definitely agree with that. That's definitely something. Lucina ain't honest. She just looks up. Hold on, we never called Lucina honest. Hang on, that that's not what we said. I mean, I think the most dishonest thing about her is probably her shield breaker. But I think, I even think that like, can be like a conditioning kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it sucks sometimes when you, if you ever get hit by like you see this down tilt and like you don't take like down smash. A lot of times can just cover anything. <laughs> oh yeah. No, definitely. Oh, trying to get that. It looks like he's trying to get a water gun off there. Trying to get the pressure off. Water gun is such an underrated move. I genuinely think it's one from like. I think it was better at one point, but I think it's still one of the better moves in the game. Oh no! Oh. The foot still on the withdraw is so unfortunate. That's going to do it. Jax with a pretty comfortable lead now, though. Man, that, that's just an interesting uh, mechanic, though, about the character, because it's just like, yeah, like what? You ever seen a turtle when they're on their shell? Like, what are you supposed to do, man? You can't get up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just Squirtle for you, but hey. I mean, I'm pretty sure that never happens in Pokemon, though. <laughs> no, but you know, this ain't Pokemon. This is a, this is a whole different game right now. And it looks like we're about to get a whole... Ooh, all right, try to go into the F-Smash. Uh-oh. But you know... Ooh, he's trying to go for something fancy with that jab block right there. Yeah. Jax is also one of those players where he looks for a lot of fancy stuff sometimes if he feels like, comfortable doing it. And you know, with a lead like that, you can definitely do that. Hey, he's trying to make Lucina look cool. I mean, I'm all for that. Ooh, oh, wow. yeah, just, catching he, that. He was charging that way before he even got up. So Jax is actually a pretty good lead right now. Two stocks up. It's definitely scary for a little bit. Or, oh, we're getting that up throw. Can Lure bring this back? He has a hill to climb, but, you know, anything's possible. Yeah. And you got to first start doing his stock, which right now he's doing pretty good. Got that string going, a little 37%. Yeah, Squirtle's damage output is kind of crazy, but so is Lucina's. This is I, so I think scary. the thing about Lure is that, like, a lot of times, like I, like I said, like Jax is very good at like being able to punish anything that you do, and so like he sometimes goes with a little bit too many risks with the character, and that's being punished a lot by Jax. Try to call up a, a roll right there, but then get it. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, trying to go from the platform. Right? That actually Ooh, nice. might have been the stock. I'm not really sure. With the rage, it might have been. I'm not entirely. Oh, Ooh. that'll do it. The down throw up me. And we have ourselves a last stock situation here. Oh, but the up me out of shield's going to do it. Jack's taking that. 2 0. -oh. Yeah, that was good play by both competitors right there. Uh, Lure and Rincon, Station 6. Lure and Rincon, Station 6. Just to uh, remind y'all, uh, top eight, they get one of these nice medals Ooh, here. Look how nice they are. Those pretty. They even have the placement on here, so they're specific for every place. They got first, second, third, fourth, all the way up to eighth place. And then. Well, he actually has an eighth place. <laughs> and then you have the, and then you have the nice trophy here to the lovely winner. 